right, let's take a look at what's going on with our report card for the month. It's the end of the month, and we have had a stellar July. First of all, taking a look at temperatures, we were a little bit above average temperature-wise over the course of the month. A lot of this due to that hot uh, week or so that we had toward the middle of the month. But more importantly, taking a look at precip, we are well above average for the month. So far, we still got about half a day left in the month here, and it's possible if we can get a good shower over the metro later on this afternoon, we could hit four inches. It'd only take a little more than a half an inch at the Sunport to officially reach four inches for the month in July. And take a look at the last time this happened, July of 1930. This isn't just the last July it happened. This is the last month period that it happened. So this is going to be something interesting to watch for through the rest of the day as we wrap up the month of July. And either way, it's been a very nice month getting plenty of rainfall, steady rainfall across much of the month. Here's a look at what we're looking at right now. And we have a few clouds out there, but we're also getting a little sunshine. And that sunshine is going to help fire off some of those storms later on this afternoon. 75 right now in the metro with a southwest wind at 7 miles per hour. That front that has made its way across the state has really cooled us down across the northeastern corner of the state. Only 57 right now in Las Vegas, looking more like fall in this area of the state. Down to the southeast, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s and 70s and over to the southwest into the 70s here as well. We have quite a bit of cloud cover across the east, so this is going to limit storm development across the east for this afternoon, which is actually a good thing because we have been rather soaked in this part of the state over the past week or so, but a little more sunshine across central and western New Mexico going to lend to a few more showers and storms later on this afternoon. So that will be the target area for some of the heavier rains this afternoon. We could still see a couple of spot showers or storms across the eastern portion of the state, but again, most of the action is going to be west of the central mountain chain for this afternoon. Tomorrow we'll continue to deal with a little bit of shower activity as we start to recycle some of the moisture left behind by the front. And then into the weekend, we start to see that storm activity decrease because high pressure is going to slide back over the state and that's going to put the lid on some of the shower and storm development. We'll still see storms, especially over areas like the higher terrain where we're more susceptible to get that lift. But as for the rest of the state, we're going to start to see things dry out and we'll warm up just a little bit as well. Southern Colorado, highs today into the upper 70s to low 80s with scattered storms around. We'll continue with the showers and storms, especially over the San Juans through the weekend and into early next week. Over the northwest, partly cloudy skies, isolated storms for today, a little bit better chance through tomorrow and into the weekend as well. Highs dropping to at least the low 80s by the end of the weekend starting next week. Over the southwest, partly sunny, uh, partly cloudy skies, numerous storms will be a good possibility. We'll have to watch for some flash flooding in those flood prone areas like the burn scars in the Gila especially. We'll continue with the showers and storms through the end of the week and into the weekend as well. Over the southeast, isolated storms possible for this afternoon. Not quite as much coverage as what we saw yesterday. We'll see a few more of those showers and storms through the end of the week and into the weekend, but we start to dry out and warm back up into early next week. Over the northeast, scattered storms for this afternoon. Highs only making it to the 70s to low 80s. We're only in the upper 60s for Friday and Saturday, and then we start to warm things back up as we dry out just a little bit toward the beginning of next week, but storm chance is still looking pretty good. Over the northern mountains, numerous afternoon showers and storms once again for this afternoon. We'll continue with those storm chances through the weekend and into early next week as temperatures warm back to the upper 70s over the East Mountains. Scattered afternoon showers and storms, highs into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees in the metro. We'll be looking for a few more storms, especially later on this afternoon and into the evening. It is going to be interesting to see if we can hit that magic four inch mark that we haven't seen since 1930. But anyway, you slice it, the showers continuing through the next few days. Certainly good news for the state. Okay, thank yep. you, John.